guys. I'm really excited to talk to you about Challenge 2 today because it is going to give us a really powerful tool for being able to um, move forward in our goals that we wrote down on Challenge 1, our Rise Up goals. So if you haven't seen Challenge 1 yet, uh, you probably want to go make sure that you you can stay here and watch this live if you're here live, but um, make sure you eventually go back and watch that one because it'll help you know how to do the tool that we're going to be using today. And so I want to start here. I'm going to pull up my notes real quick. Um, okay, so last week we wrote down um, goals in six areas, right? And um, it was supposed to be a little overwhelming and maybe we've been trying to kind of do them this week, but maybe we haven't been as consistent as we'd like. And if you have, you know, good for you, you're awesome. <laughs> I know I haven't, and, and I'm still awesome. And those of you who haven't are still awesome too, because um, we are going to start learning some tools and ways that we can start moving forward in those ways and in that journey. And so if you've, you're already there, then maybe pick some new ones that you want to start working on. But we wrote down what we want to, where we want to be in these areas in six months from now. And so today for challenge two, we're going to start working on um, what are what is it that we're telling ourselves about these different areas? What's our current story about these different areas? And um, and as we look at our current story, it'll give us a little bit. It'll give us some hints about what's holding us back. So, for example, I have here my current story about my um, my uh, physical goal. So. It's the, I want to start living or doing the FODMAP diet a little more consistently because I found that when I do it in my life, I feel a lot healthier. But the way that this particular diet works is that you eliminate all of these um, different carbohydrates and then you add one type to your life and you see how you do in little increments and, how, and you see how much you can handle that particular carbohydrate. Once you know, then you, you stay there and then you add another one. So you start adding different things into your life so that you are able to eat a more a wide variety of food. You don't just say, I'm going to completely get rid of this. You know how much you can handle and what your body's able to do. So you can eat those particular kinds to a certain, to what your body's able to, to digest them with. So anyway, just a little bit background about the FODMAP diet. But um, I've been kind of just off and on on it and I, um, I really want to be able to do it completely so I know how much I can do and be more um, proactive in keeping my health in check. And so um, my current story I wrote down about how, why I'm not really doing it is I don't have time to shop and eat that way right now. I don't want to organize my shopping and my dinners right now. I don't really have time or desire to do that. Um, I feel fine, so I don't want to change the way I eat. I really like sugar and I don't want to give it up. So those are kind of the the current the current story, the current reality of where, or not reality, but the current story I'm telling myself at this point about that particular goal. So um, to move on from there, I want to tell you two stories. The first one is something I read in my scriptures in the Bible recently. It's the story of David and Goliath. And as I was reading the story, a couple of things stood out to me this time. One of them is when David comes up to... Um, I guess it was he was giving his brother something. I can't remember exactly what. Um, and he sees Goliath, right? And he's like, well, why, why is everyone afraid of this um, Philistine? Like, we're on God's side. We don't need to be afraid. And his older brother is kind of annoyed with him. And he's like, what are you doing? You go back home and tend to the sheep like you're supposed to and let us do the fighting here. You know, you're just you're the youngest brother and you're pretty proud. I know your heart and you're just wanting to be here. Just look at the war, but just go back home to where you belong. And he kind of, you know, belittled him. And I just thought, man, I have conversations like that with myself quite a bit where I kind of belittle myself. And I'm like, you know, who do you think you are? And what makes you think that, you know, if other people can't do it, what makes you think you can do it? And, and these kind of things. And sometimes when we try to dream big or do things that are outside of our comfort zone, we'll feel that from within. And we'll also hear that from without, like David did, like his brother was telling him. Who do you think you are? And we may feel that judgment. And maybe people won't say it out loud, but we'll imagine that we're feeling that judgment from others. And so as I thought about David in this particular situation he was in, I loved why that he didn't let that get him down. He knew who he was. And so he went to the king and he said, I can, I can kill this giant. You know, I, I'm on God's side. And um, I've been able to, he's helped me kill a lion. He's helped me do this and this. And so I know I can take this on. And the king says, okay, well, go for it, you know. So David goes up, and as you know, he's able to accomplish um, the impossible, what everybody else that was impossible, because he knew who he was. 
And I think when we start remembering that, we start to see things as they really are. So the second story is um, one when I was starting to write the book Find Your Path, and I was, um, I think I was almost done with it, or, I, or maybe I was done and I was trying to find ways to get people to know about it. I can't remember exactly where I was at with it, but I remember I was at the temple. Our church has temples that we can go and, and do service in. And I was there and um, I came out and I was feeling really good. But when I came back in my car, I was starting to get some of those fears again. And, and this like, who do you think you are to be writing a book? And, and you have so many flaws in your life and you don't do things perfectly. And how are you going to teach others? And so, you know, these doubtful thoughts were, were kind of attacking me. And I got in the car and I turned on the, the, the car and the music came on. And I happened to have been listening to Rob Gardner's CD, um, and it was um, called The Lamb of God, and it had this song called Gethsemane, which is this beautiful cello. And as you're listening to it, you just think about Christ and his suffering. And it just flooded my heart, this realization, like, Christ died for me personally. And if he was willing to do that, then I must be worth a lot. And it just kind of shifted my mindset to where I realized, like, I am a child of God and I can do great things. I can write a book. I can do things that are hard because obviously if he was willing to do that for me, then I must have a great, I must have great potential. So when we remember these things, when we remember who we really are, we're a lot, we're able to see things more clearly. So then I can look back at these, um, at this goal, this particular one and write it in a way that is more true to who I really am. So, um, Let's see how, what I wrote down. I wrote, um, okay, so my example was, I don't have time to shop and eat that way right now. I don't want to organize my shopping um, dinners right now. I don't, I feel fine, so I don't want to change the way I eat. And I really like sure I don't want to give it up. So here's what I wrote down as a truth statement. I wrote, God has given me enough time to do all of the things that really matter. He wants me to use some of it to take care of my body. I do want to organize my shopping because I don't want to stress about it and I want to have the, um, I want it to take less time. I feel fine, but experience has taught me that I won't feel fine later if I keep going down the track I'm on. Um, I do like sugar, but I love my body and my health more, so I'm willing to give it up. And so when I saw things, um, when I looked at my current story, it helped me realize what was false about it. And it helped me be, when I remembered who I was, I was able to write something that was more true. And so that's your challenge this week is to look at your current, you already wrote down what you want. Those were your rise up goals. Now look at your current story. What are you telling yourself about those goals right now? And rewrite it after you've considered who you are. Maybe have a, um, a little prayerful conversation with God about it. And then sit down and write down truth statements. And so people call these different things. They, I've heard them called affirmations or our new reality. I really like, I heard um, Audrey... Riddle Spocker, I can't remember, I can never say her name right, but she's from the Mission Driven Mom. And she calls it, she does something similar, but she calls it a truth statement. And I really like that term because it is, it's, we're telling ourselves the truth about these things, about um, where we want to go um, and, and discarding some of these false beliefs. So um, the challenge this week has three tasks, okay? So the first one is going to be to read the, the story, The Leap. I'm going to put it on the files here. I'm also going to have it on the course pages. If you haven't signed up for the for the course, I'll put a link below as well because that will help you keep track of where you're at. And so you won't be like, wait, did I do this challenge? Because it gets kind of confusing here on Facebook because they kind of start to go out of order. On the units, they're in order. So you can look there, but sometimes it's hard to remember. Did I do this one? And on the course page, it'll just have a check mark and you'll know exactly which ones you did and where you're at. So I encourage you to sign up there. Um, so it'll be there as well, and I'll also um, send it on the email. If you've signed up for the email list, it'll be there. So I'm, I'm doing it in all these different ways because I know everybody has their own thing that they prefer. So I want to make sure that I reach all of you in the best way that, I, that, you'll, that you'll like better. So um, that you'll actually be able to do it um, and keep track. Um, so that's the first one. There will be to read the leap, and then there's a little um, video that kind of goes along with it. That's a Frodo Frodo saying, I will take the ring. So it kind of has this little segment from the from the movie. I want you to read those two and think about like, what am I willing to leap for? What's my cause and 
And when you start to put that together with who you really are, it gives you the courage to take that leap, right? So we're going to be talking a little bit about that in our discussion. And then also, I want you to learn a little bit about Booker T. Washington, because he's just such an incredible example of someone who knew his cause and, and rose up to who he really was, even though everybody around him was telling him it was impossible. And the circumstances he came from and it was telling were, were very much against him. And people would have thought, you know, you, you can't rise up to who you need to be. But he completely broke all of that and did incredible things. So I have like a children's story and you'll have I'll have different links of ways you can learn about him. Um, if you don't have a lot of time, just watch the little children's story. That's all you need to do. Um, but he's incredible. So even if you don't read too much about him this week, just, you know, he's worth learning about and reading his book and his autobiographies. Um, and then the last one is going to be to write down these um, truth statements about your rise up goals. So look, write down your current story and then look at your rise up goals and then write down truth statements about it and then link them here. And I'm going to give you levels again. You can just write them down. You can do some kind of picture, um, maybe make them pretty or something. Um, whatever's going to take you out of your comfort zone a little bit um, and then and share them. Or you can do a video, which to me is level three. Maybe to some people that's not very scary, but to me video is pretty scary. So I just want you to get out of your comfort zone as you're teaching these things to others so that you'll grow. Because that's the only way we grow is when we get out of our comfort zone. So either, you know, write them down, um, write them down in some creative way and with a picture or something, or, or do a video and share them with us and, and let us see, you know, your your face as you're sharing them because that helps us connect to one another so that's why i kind of encourage you to do it that way but i also know that that can be really scary so do whatever whatever you feel is not comfortable but that's going to help you grow um so and then if you are able like if you're watching this early enough and you don't have to do the next challenge right away then you know challenge three which is starting next week but some of you guys are going to be watching this on the replay and you want to um, move it fast, move through it faster. But if you can, I encourage you to start writing down each day when you get up, when you to do your journaling. Um, what's my current story about these goals today? Because it kind of changes every day, and we kind of when we write down our current story daily, we can kind of see, okay, what are my false beliefs this morning, and then and move forward, and and you can start refining your truth statements, making them different or making them better, um, and just kind of. Um, change it along with them because your current story will change as you as your day is different depending on how you're feeling what you've experienced what people have been telling you um so that would be really cool you can start kind of experimenting with that so that's challenge two i'm excited to hear what you have to say about it those of you who finished challenge one or who are going to finish it today i'm going to send you a zoom invite to our discussion today we we watched the video about um, perfectionism and the perfect lie so we'll discuss a little bit of that and how you did with your Rise Up Goals. So um, I'll send out that invitation to Messenger and we'll go ahead and do that. If you're watching this later on replay, then um, wherever we happen to be, we'll be doing a, a discussion about that at the end of the week. And I'll invite you, those of you who finished the challenge, so go hurry up and catch up. Um, and, and, and we'll do that. And if you're watching this like way later when we're done with the six week challenge, go ahead and write it in any way because I'll still see it and I'll still be able to comment and still be able to um, share some thoughts with you. So um, good luck. And um, if any of you are here live, I guess I can ask if you have any questions or any thoughts. Um, for some reason, I used to be able to tell when people were watching. I don't know if it's because I'm on my computer. I think my phone is a little bit different, but I don't know who's here. So if any of you are here live, if you have any questions, go ahead and type them in. And there's always a delay, so it's kind of awkward. But I don't want to make this too long because people will see the, the time and be like, oh, I don't have time to watch that. So I guess I'll just stop here. But if you do have questions or comments, then go ahead and list them on the, uh, and I'll go back and answer them. You know, I'll just type them out or whatever. So I will um, end this video and good luck. I look forward to hearing what you have to say.